Hello staff, hello students, welcome to Chef Mel's kitchen again. I need to get one of those selfie sticks, don't I? Getting into the modern age. Uh, so today we're making, uh, we're making lentil and ham pasta bake. And it's a, such a simple dish. There's only six food items you need for it. And only one of those food items, the ham, the sort of gammon, is the sort of fresh product. The other five are either in the cupboard or in the freezer. So really, really easy. I'm gonna be using um, some gammon in this recipe. I had some leftover gammon from, um, from cooking this last night. Uh, basically what I do, and this is a really good cost-effective thing to do at the moment, is I buy like a kilo like gammon joint um, which I boil for 35 minutes and then I bake in the oven for about 35 minutes and then let it rest and carve it. One night I have it for um, gammon, egg and chips, yum. And then the next night I'll do something like this, like a pasta bake. And then I usually save myself a couple more slices and um, just a couple of slices and I'll make that into sort of like a special fried rice, you know, like with ham and eggs and chilli and peas and stuff like that, although no no prawns in that special fried rice because um, cause allergic, so we don't want that reaction. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients and such a simple dish, but so tasty and healthy as well. So I've preheated my oven to 180 and I'm gonna get um, a big saucepan on the boil in a minute. These are the ingredients you'll need for today's recipe. So you'll need 400 grams of um, pasta penne or any other pasta shape. I normally get normal penne, but um, as in the white version of penne, but um, they didn't have any, they only had whole wheat, which to be fair, it's making me healthier at least. So um, whole wheat penne often takes, yeah, takes a couple more minutes to cook than, um, than others. But I say 400 grams, even though the pack's 500, but that's because um, if I cook 500, it's too much pasta and also it won't fit in my baking dish. So that's why 400, but if you want, you can use the whole pack. I've got, how much? I've got 300 and, no, 300 grams of frozen peas. They've slightly defrosted there, but that's 300 grams of frozen peas. I've got one of my chief ingredients here, which is a tin of lentil and vegetable soup. Um, using a tin of soup as a sauce for pasta dishes is really cool. Like you can use Heinz cream and tomato soup or Heinz cream and mushroom to make a really nice pasta baker or a really nice pie as, as well. It's a nice little cupboard trick, that one. I've got 350 um, grams of uh, cooked gammon. So you could use leftover roast pork as well. That's another good one. Um, I'm gonna dice this up. And I've got a jar of bolognese pasta sauce. I'll be at 725 grams jar of bolognese pasta sauce. You can use any other type of pasta sauce. I quite like that one and it's very cheap. And I'll be using this whole block of cheddar. I'll be using about 200 grams of this. But um, as you can see, the shelf life on it's 5th of July. So even though cheese goes in the fridge, it's, um, it's usually lasts a couple of months in there. So all of these, apart from the gammon, which is sort of still quite a cost effective thing, um, will all be done. Um, all, all those six will go into that pasta bake and most of them you can just get from the cupboard or the freezer which I think is excellent. Right I'll show you the prep stages. Put a large pan of water with some salt it on the boil. I'm using my wok here but that's only because that's the largest pan I have in the house. Wait until the pan is boiling and then add your pasta and cook according to the packet instructions. So this packet says 13 minutes but each pasta will vary depending on its type and its shape. Drain the pasta in a colander until all the water's gone and then turn the heat off and then return it back to the pan. Mm. Now add your lentil soup. I know it doesn't look good now but it will, trust me, trust me on this one. Add the lentil soup, add your pasta sauce and this can literally just, you don't need to heat it up beforehand because you're going to mix this all together and then put this in a baking dish and then it will heat up in the oven so you don't need to heat the sauce up separately. Um, less washing up, isn't it? Um, there's the ham and there's the peas. And just give that a good old stir. Double check that you're happy with the seasoning. Mmm, that's definitely enough seasoning and think that there's um, salt in the gammon and the salt in the cheese as well so I'm happy with the salt and pepper on that one. Pour into the biggest baking dish you can find. Um, this recipe feeds four, by the way, and I told you if I cooked any more pasta, I wouldn't fit it in. So pour that in to your baking dish, flatten it up a little bit, and then yay, cheese. Top with your grated cheese. I've used mature cheddar here, but you can use other types of cheese, like um, Red Leicester's quite nice, or Gloucester, um, Gloucestershire, 
or crumbled Wensleydale. I don't think blue cheese would go very well in it. But if you did a cre if you did this recipe with like a creamy um, tin of soup, it might be nice with a bit of blue cheese on top. Actually, there you go. There's your cheese. Oh, more cheese the better. Yay! And then making a mess of this, aren't I? Then that's going to go in the oven for half an hour. Take it out of the oven and look at that. Doesn't that look lush? Top it off just to show off because I've got it growing in my garden. Just a little garnish, a bit of sprig of basil. And that's ready to feed your hungry family. And each portion, so four, each portion has three of your five a day already. And you can even have some salad on the side and make it four of your five a day, which is just amazing. So tasty as well as absolutely scrumptious. Dig in.